fun and feel the energy with Dave, Richard Simmons, Laura Dern, and the music of the Mavericks. Tonight on The Late Show with David Letterman. Now, your local news. And coming up on News Channel 3, new developments in the mysterious case of politician David Balmer. Searching for suspects in the separate murders of two elderly Carolina residents. And a presidential threat traced to South Carolina. Eric has the weather. Paul is here with sports. Next on... For an American Airlines jet headed into Miami. Heavy turbulence injures four. A strip search controversy at the Seminole County Jail. It's all right now on Eyewitness News. America's DLT News, the South Dakota Highway Patrol wants you to have a safe travel weekend. And if you don't, they could fine you. And a Brookings Aviation School has something you won't find in any other flight school in America. We'll show you next on KDLT News. Stay up for all the laughs when Dave welcomes his favorite pretty woman, Julia Roberts. But first, your local news. Two men get themselves in trouble on the Susquehanna River this afternoon. And on 22 Action News reporter Phil Yakubuski will tell you why some parents are afraid to send their kids to school in the Poconos. I'll have that story coming up. And how will recent primaries in other states affect the way people vote in our area? You're watching 22 Action News, 11 out of 11. Coming up, an officer-involved shooting has deputies looking for a gunman in Georgia. Emergency crews say a new cell phone program can help them save your life, and the community reaches out to abuse children. This is NBC 26 News at 11. Just ahead here on 6 News tonight, the latest on a deadly bus crash considered the worst in one city's history. A former child actress from a popular sitcom has died and will hit the streets of New York City. The news is next. Senator Robert Torricelli, James Coburn, and singer Lakita Gark. Politically incorrect. ABC Late Night Tonight. Next on 7, two Michigan girls kidnapped last week arrive home to hugs from family and friends. Complete Team 7 coverage from Michigan to Florida next on 7. The, the Buccaneer defense is tough, but what's happened to Keyshawn and the offense? Now they face the undefeated Minnesota Vikings. It's North versus South on Monday Night Football at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific on ABC. Up next, a very cold morning to start the work week, and a 13-year-old boy is dead after a freak accident on a bike trail in Montgomery County. The NBA Finals, Lakers, Pistons, Game 4, Sunday night on ABC. Seconds away, the body of President Ronald Reagan returns to the place he calls home, and will we have a hot weekend? Dallas has your forecast next at 11. Tonight, first your local news. The manhunt continues for the suspect who shot a Carbondale cop yesterday. The bishop spoke out against it, but the Elton John concert goes on. I'm calling Connolly at the First Union Arena. I'll have that story coming up. And the rainy weather didn't stop the long lines at a local bakery. You're watching 22 Action News, 11 out of 11. And the legendary friendship began. You know you play a real good game. So do you. Yeah, I don't know how to say this any other way, so I'm going to say it straight out. Brian is sick. Real sick. It's going to be all right. I love Ryan Piccolo, and tonight, when you hit your knees, please ask God to love him too. Brian's Song, Sunday, December 2nd at 7, 6 Central on ABC. with a deadly hit and run and Springfield turns himself in tonight. What charges the suspect is facing and a new museum exhibit in Lane County is stirring up controversy. New source 16 at 11 starts now. Global News. 